Was there anything that, that, you, that you didn't like while you were shooting the show? The monkey. And the monkey. Oh, the monkey. Oh. <laughs> Remember the one where Marcel the monkey made multiple appearances on Friends? Guys, there's uh, somebody I'd like you to meet. <gasps> wait, wait, what is that? That would be Marcel. You want to say hi? No, no, I don't. Well, according to David Schwimmer, who played Ross Geller, Marcel was the only castmate he didn't like. The actor shared his true feelings about working with the primate during the Friends reunion special, which dropped on HBO Max on Thursday. Was there anything that, that, you, that you didn't like while you were shooting the show? The monkey. And the monkey. Oh, the monkey. <laughs> not Marcel. Really? The monkey scared me. I loved the monkey. David was not a yeah, fan. Yeah, because you didn't have to touch it. As for why, well, David says the monkey was too difficult to work with. Here, here was my problem. Like, the, <laughs> the monkey, obviously, it was trained, and it had to hit its mark and do its thing right at the, you know, at the perfect time. But what inevitably began to happen was we would all have choreographed, like, bits kind of timed out, and it would get messed up because the monkey didn't do its job right. So we'd have to, so we'd have to, we'd have to reset, we'd have to go again, because the monkey didn't get it right. David's so angry still. So, David also mentioned that in between takes, Marcel would stay on his shoulder, at which point the trainer would bring over some live treats. The trainer would come up and just open and give, give the monkey live grubs to eat. So the monkey, the monkey would be sitting on my shoulder, take some grubs, take some grubs, like break them in half, they squirming live grubs, they'd eat it, and then he'd just go like that. <laughs> so I'd have monkey grubby hands all over, all over. And the friend star hilariously had two words for the monkey. It was time for Marcel oh. to, <laughs> to f off. <laughs> We really grew close as a family, and part of the reason was that that initial success of the show was something that no other, no one else could relate to. But that's not the only thing the cast revealed on the special. I hadn't seen it really in 17 years um, until my daughter just started watching it oh. this past year, and oh. that kind of sucked me into it. Yep, Friends, which lasted for 10 seasons, is so iconic, even their kids watch the show. That thing with the leather pants, oh my god, that's still crap. That was on the other day. I just happened to be in the kitchen with Marina. We were eating dinner, and <laughs> Friends is on. And I'm like, oh, look at that. Let's see which one it is. And it happened to be the one with the leather pants. And I said to my daughter, I said, okay, watch this. This is funny. <laughs> watch David. And it was really, really, really funny. <laughs> Every little thing, like pulling the pants up and like s slipping and smacking yourself <laughs> in the head. And it, I know you, it was all so calculated. Nothing happens by accident with you. I've watched you put things together and it was brilliant. E.T. spoke with the stars of Friends ahead of the reunion and Jen revealed why their bond is so unbreakable. There was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neuro pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. And it was without question, there was never competition, there was never, if there was ever a conflict, it was instantly addressed and handled, no, no eggshells. It was just something. We're the most grateful women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this.